Hey, good morning. It's me, Shambray again. Um, so Lisa Leslie got an interview by Gail King. She's one of Oprah's friends. Some people say she's Oprah's girlfriend. So they've never seen Oprah with a man. But that's all alleged. <laughs> and it's neither here nor there. But anyway, she interviewed Lisa Leslie. And they were supposed to be talking about Kobe Bryant's legacy and all this. And she just did a poor interview. She was tarnishing Kobe Bryant's legacy and his image and stuff. Because, you know, I think the year was 2002 or three when they said he allegedly raped some girl or whatever. Some little white girl. But he didn't. And she kept bringing that up. Then she kept on saying, well, why do so many people love a, love a man that they never met before? Um, They're called fans. They're called fans. That's the word for that, fans. Then, like, people are still mourning Kobe. People all over the world love Kobe. People in Italy love Kobe. Kobe played in Italy. He played in Italy. He speaks Italian. People... Not just in America, not just in California. People everywhere in every country love Kobe. And people are still mourning Kobe. People are still shocked. People still can't believe he's not here anymore. And for you to go and get one of his good friends and try to pretend like you want to interview about his legacy and then turn it into some bullshit, that was fucked up. Like, who does that? That was very disrespectful. You did not have to do that. And he's not even... They haven't even buried him yet, and you're being disrespectful. He has fans all over the world in different countries. His wife and kids, his parents, Joe, Jellybean Bryant and Pam Bryant are still alive. So why would you try to disrespect somebody that is clearly loved everywhere? Are you jealous? You're not that loved that much? That was dis disrespectful. And then Boosie, Bo Lil Boosie, Bootsy Badass, whatever you call him. Bootsy, whatever. I don't pay attention to his music. I don't like it. He was like, why would you do that to your own people? First of all, Boosie, she's not for us, never been for us. She does not care about black men, black women, the color black, anything black. She does not care. She likes to kiss the white people ass, and she's friends with Harvey Weinstein, somebody that actually did some fucked up shit. So that lets me know how she really feels about us. She does not care. She's not for us. And when you figure out that she's not for you, You can get the fuck over it. She's not for you. She is not for you. She's very disrespectful. She said her ugly ass up there and her joke want a man wig. So I've been reading the comments and I finally realized why people are upset. Somebody called me and said, like, what the hell are you doing? She was like, somebody called me and said, well, what the hell are you doing? She said, yeah, I understand why people would get upset. Her apology was fake. It's a new dog. His response was hilarious. The most mature response that I seen was Bill Bellamy. Bill Bellamy and you know from Cousin Skeeter. Bill Bellamy and 50 Cent. Bootsy and Snoop Dogg and the rest of the world went here for it. And I understand why. She's a fucked up individual. She's a poor interviewer. Poor interviewer. She's foul. She's evil. She need her ass beat. And that's all I got.